Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a keyframe animation to animate the content of a markdown block so it will load on your website very similar to the intro text in a Star Wars movie. It'll have a slightly angled fade as it loads into your site and will fade off into a zero opacity at the very end. Now the code I'm using today is listed in the description below, so you can just copy and paste that into your own site and it will create this effect for any markdown block on your site. However, I'd love to hop into a demo site to show you exactly how it works so you understand what you're gonna wanna change to make it look amazing on your own website. So let's go ahead and hop into my website and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site. I do wanna mention I'm in version 7.1, but this is a markdown block and it's the exact same in version seven, okay? So I'm just gonna hop into edit mode and show you here. This right here is the markdown. If I double click on that, you'll see I have a markdown block here with some text on it. If you click on this hyperlink here for the syntax cheat sheet, that will actually open up the support article on Squarespace where it can give you more information about how to display different content in your markdown block, like links or images, all kinds of fun stuff. So click on that article link if you wanna learn more about markdown blocks. Now I've added some text and all I've done is center it with a little HTML. I'll select apply and we'll be ready to rock. This code down here is the code that we're going to use. I'm just gonna press control A and copy this off of my keyboard and we'll hop into our CSS panel and I'll show you how it works. So I'll select done and save. Now we'll navigate to design and scroll all the way down to custom CSS. Here I'm just gonna press control V on my keyboard and paste that code and check it out. My font is now loading with that keyframe animation we created. Now this first part is very important. It says page overflow X hidden. When we're creating this angled animation, it will actually make the markdown block wider than my site. So I wanna make sure I hide that stuff on the edges so I don't get a big scroll bar on the bottom of my screen. Now after that, I've specified the height and perspective and rotation of my markdown block. After that, I've added this markdown block line with the little asterisk that says, hey browser, any content inside the box I want you to give it this fade away animation and make it take 15 seconds and have it move forward linearly. So you can change this 15S to 30 seconds if you want it to take longer. You can change it to five seconds if you want it to be super fast. You'll notice I actually have three versions of it here as well. We have the animation, the Moz animation, and WebKit animation. That's to make sure that it will load properly on different kinds of browsers. So we actually are gonna repeat ourselves a couple of times. So if we change this to 30, oops, there we go, and I'll select save, we'll go ahead and load this page again. And as you'll see, it's now taking a bit longer to get to that same animation that we had before. Now scrolling down here, this is where I actually have the animation itself. Again, it looks like I'm repeating myself a couple of times, but that's just to make sure that every browser can handle it. Here I've told it what direction to go and to adjust its opacity towards the end of the animation. So one last time I just wanna mention, feel free to change the number of seconds if you want it to take longer or a shorter period of time. There are multiple instances of that exact same code in the same line, and that's just to make sure that all browsers out there can handle this animation. And the code is beneath the video, so go ahead and copy and paste that into your own site. This is specifically for markdown blocks, so you can put an image in there as well, and everything will get the tilt and animation shift to fade away into the distance. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.